Howdy. Welcome back to another adventure. On this trip, we're heading out to Arizona. I'm going to pick up my son. I ended up picking up a Blackstone 22 inch uh, grill, griddle top or grill top. Uh, I'm going to try to cook the whole weekend on the, off of that. So, it should be a fun, interesting little trip. Tonight, we got planned fried rice. Um, tomorrow, we are going to do like breakfast sandwiches. Dinner will be uh, smash burgers. And then the only other thing on the menu is Mitsubis. You don't know what those are, stay tuned. We'll get you, uh, we'll show you guys what they are. All right, guys. Rice is here in Arizona. Not bad. She's a thirsty girl. So, what you don't see is I picked up my son. We headed to the grocery store, checking out some sushi. Nothing that we wanted. Picking up the things we needed for the fried rice and some of the smash burger stuff. Then we headed off to the island. They have two city lights. We're on the island. We're about to start cooking our dinner. Some uh, razors are out. Fireworks were happening right over there. Maybe we'll see them. I'm chopping up a quarter of an onion for the fried rice. I'm going to saute it up here in a minute. I made sure to have the griddle nice and hot before I threw the onion on. I want to make sure I get a nice, good sear on them. I love this thing. I'm able to cook multiple things on it at one time. So, started throwing my eggs on to scramble. So, this was real nice. Gotta make sure those eggs are nice and scrambled. Don't want nothing runny in them. Making sure the onions are getting well sauteed all around. I bought the double burner and it works out really well. One side I can turn down really low and the other side I can turn up high. So on the one side I'm warming the eggs and on the other side I can do all the cooking that I need to do. Works out really well. 
Here I'm getting the carrots all nice and soft, adding a little more butter to crisp up everything. Here I'm reheating some Chinese barbecue pork. I call it chashu. Some of you guys just know it as barbecue pork. But man, this stuff's good. Next time I'll chop it up before I add it to the whole thing. I'm adding my rice in now so I can crisp everything up all at once. I'm adding store-bought teriyaki sauce. I didn't really have time to make like a homemade version like I normally would. Also too, just a side note, you always want to use day old rice to make fried rice. Time to mix everything in. I mix the egg back in with the rice. Same with the uh, chashu. I'm gonna leave it for about a minute or so and let the bottom crisp up. To the fried rice. How is it so far? Mm, the best fried rice I've ever had. Oh yeah. You're just, you're not just saying that because I'm your dad, are you? No. My turn. <laughs> my turn. I'm gonna start digging in. I got my own plate. So, be back in a minute. Time to clean up. The worst part of cooking ever. He's still working on his. Mm. I cleaned my plate already. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll get to work cleaning this up. Not really sure I'm gonna clean the grill tonight, but we'll figure it out. We're all cleaned up, waiting for the griddle to cool down. Got everything put away back in the drawer. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I don't really think anybody would be interested in me filming that. Here we are on our way to Kingman, getting ready for a little day hike. We made it up to the Hualapai Mountains. We're just driving up to the trailhead. There's cabins you can camp at and just regular camping grounds that you can pitch a tent or sleep in the back of your truck like I do from time to time. trail we got Charles oh man I don't know if it's the elevation or just out of shape or both but I'm winded are you winded yeah uh, maybe elevation 
but we're off. We're gonna see if we can get to uh, the peak. So Charles and I had stopped and I asked him to help me out take off some photos for the beef jerky. So if you guys are ever interested, go to bodasjerky.com. Get yourself a bag. Use promo code FREESHIP. You are here. So we hiked this blue trail, I believe. We parked somewhere like right in here, yeah. And we did this blue trail. So we are here. So I don't know. Um, we're not gonna make it to the peak today. It's probably where we're gonna turn around, but there's a cool little camp. There you go. Down here. It must hold like camping events or something. Picnic baskets, picnic tables. I'm thinking of Yogi Bear. Hey, boo boo. But yeah, we'll probably take a break and head back. Head back that way. Back to our truck. Words of encouragement. <laughs> Yay. You made it this far. You look magnific magnificent, magnificent, magnificent. Oh, I can't see it. I give up. There's old Big Bertha. We finished our little trail. Once I get to the truck, I'll see how far we went. Right. Nice hike, a little chilly in the shade. So here is a family trying to feed a deer. These would be the people that would get mauled by a bison. Charles and I stayed back and just watched from afar. I was so tempted to run the deer off, but just didn't want to cause any problems. On tonight's menu, we're gonna do smash burgers. Where are you, Charles? Yep. Where is he? Come here. Oh, there you are. There he is, hiding in the shadows. So we're gonna saute some uh, onion, hamburgers, pepper jack cheese, and some bread. smash burgers and then I got our onions going getting that all ready to go so stay tuned this was my first time ever making smash burgers so they actually turned out pretty good I was smashing here trying to figure out how to get it all to work out Burgers are almost done. Freddy's got his almost ready to go. So, kind of hard to film and cook at the same time. I'll figure this out one day. Kind of the finished product right there. Charlie's got his. Just got a bite out of his already. 
First time making smash burgers. First time making them at camp too. So, see so how they taste. There's nothing. Smash burgers at camp. And that's a wrap for this trip. We finished up our burgers and then we headed off to bed. I didn't film as much as I would have liked to, but I definitely spent my time in the moment with my son. So all in all, it was a good trip.